G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim, where we are continuing our efforts to try and upgrade all of our gear, uh, so that we don't feel too squishy while we're out and about in the plains. Uh, obviously the end goal here is to try and find some flax, finally, <laughs> so we'll uh, hopefully be able to get there. Uh, but anyway, I think we're sort of ready uh, for an adventure into the swamps. We probably do need maybe a little bit of food. Uh, nothing too high tier, obviously, so let's maybe just grab that and that and maybe that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go with that. And um, look, with the uh, portal, I don't think we really need a portal with us, right? I mean, if we can actually get to the swamp um, from here, then there's no real need. Uh, the only thing is whether or not we um, were able to actually find those raids. But um, in order to find the raids, we're going to actually need to wait till night time, right? So um, we might wait a little bit in that case and uh, we'll just work on a few other bits and pieces here. Uh, let's just drop in coal there. I know it's not really doing anything, but that's okay. It'll be good for when we actually do need to make some more uh, black metal bars. Um, I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be any other type of materials that go into uh, that particular furnace. Possibly. I mean, you know, people keep talking about the Mistlands and how the Mistlands is a thing and, you know, there's plenty more to discover, I suppose. Uh... I do have some coal here. I'm not entirely sure I really want to be hanging on to coal. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just drop that in there. All right, so to kill time, I think we can do a couple of things here. We can probably farm uh, our veggies and then we can look after the farm uh, for the barley as well. So let's go ahead and do that. That should eat up quite a bit of time. And, you know, we've been ignoring the veggie patch for a while now, so I figure maybe now's the, the time. Um, piggies, I don't know, I don't know about the piggies guys, because um, we have sort of moved away from needing to use all the boar meat, although um, I suppose we could use boar meat if we decide to capture a wolf. Again, have no idea why we would want to capture a wolf, maybe keep it as a pet or something. Um, and if we do capture wolves though, like, would they not, like, try to go into the pig pen and try and eat them? I assume maybe you have to keep them separate. But maybe it might not be a bad idea to have a wolf that just roams around the property and, you know. Um, I don't know about farming wolves. I feel a little bit bad for, you know, farming wolves and keeping them locked up and stuff and killing them. And as I said in, I think the previous episode, it's easy enough to just go into the, uh, the mountains and actually roam around and you'll pretty much encounter wolves straight away. So <laughs> it's not like it's hard to find them. Um, Alright, so we did have an issue with um, growing stuff in this particular planter. Uh, so I'm going to sort of try something a little bit different. So we're going to do sort of a zigzag thing. Uh, And we'll see how that pans out. Mm -hmm. 
And if that doesn't really pan out very well, then I can always just... I don't know, maybe expand this section here to make a little bit more of a bigger planter. Uh, Alright, so let's get, uh, I'd say maybe seeding onions. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Speaking of onions, I do actually need to fetch onion seeds. Alright, so, and let's just do actual onions over here. Okay, good times, and I think we'll just do carrots and turnips here. Let's see how we go. I'm not gonna fuss about min-maxing or anything like that, our, our space. Um, it's not really something that I need to stress about too much. If they die, they die. We are going to have so many carrots and turnips after this harvest. Again, probably another reason why we don't need to really do the farming too often. Um, unless we start finding like recipes that are going to require more of these veggies again, uh, you know, like newer recipes. Okay, looks good. Let's just drop all of that back there. We'll drop our veggies in storage. Uh, we've got a few extra carrots here we can just feed to the pigs, I think. Or actually, no. We did make the extra pantry for a reason, right? So let's keep our extra veggies. Um, because, again, I'm not really going to be harvesting, uh, you know, pig meat anytime soon. Um, and I figure maybe we'd only feed them when we actually need them to breed. Uh, I should... Quickly repair all of that and... Let's head on over to the plains. And we'll continue the work on the barley as well. Hopefully it'll be dark by the time we're done. 
This is all ready. Okay, and back in they go. Now I know I do still have the problem of whatever's buried in this little corner here, which is, a lot of people are pointing out, likely to be maybe stone, uh, because we did have a big boulder that we had to break down here when we started building the place. So maybe there's still some remnants of that boulder somewhere underground so yes there is that problem i am choosing to ignore it for the moment guys uh i just don't feel like uh having to dig all of this up and then reset it back up again um i'll do it at some point just just not now guys <laughs> i'll uh i'll deal with that when, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe when we eventually find flax or something like that, we'll slow things down again and, you know, fix up a few things. I'm really hoping that we'll find some chains in this episode, but... I mean, finding those wraiths... It's kind of tricky. So, uh, I was sort of thinking that if we don't find the wraiths in the swamps that we've got a portal set up in... Uh, maybe we can actually make our way out uh, to the swamps near Motor's spawning point and uh, we'll see if we can actually find some raids around there. And it might be a good idea for us to start tagging the crypts that we haven't visited over there as well because if we're going to need more iron then that's probably where we're going to find it. That seems to be the closest place, anyway. I think we're done here. Uh, how much barley do we have? Actually a lot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's decent actually. So do I want to start grinding the barley right now? We don't really need to, and just store it there. And actually, barley stacks a lot more than um, than the flour does. So, yeah, it might actually be more useful to keep barley rather than flour. Uh, anyway, it is night, so I think this is the time for us to head on over to the swamps, have a little bit of an explore, defeat as many raids as we can, if we can find them. Uh, just to set myself a little bit of a goal here initially, is I think we can go to where the Sertlings spawn. Um, and see if we can get a few Sertling cores. Uh, and hopefully, we can attract some raids in the process.
Now this being night time, uh, I assume some tougher draugers and leeches and stuff will spawn, so I just want to be, you know, a little bit careful. I know we've sort of moved on from um, from the swamps quite a bit and uh, we might be underestimating the swamps. Just don't want to be caught off guard. Okay, settlings here. Yeah, I actually should mark uh, this particular settling spawn as well. Uh, yeah, we, we actually have two settling spawns. There we go. I think that one just stepped into the water accidentally. Alright. Um, let's just mark this down. Oh, there's a wraith. Oh, I was going that way. <laughs> yes, come over here. Thank you. I can't remember how many chains we need, guys. Um, but I might spend almost the entire episode looking for chains this time. Um, because, well, I don't think the shield is the only thing that needs chains, right? Like, we're probably going to need chains for other things as well. And the other settling should be just over here. So uh, the other thing that I'm not entirely sure of is is if there is like a specific place where, uh, you know, where those raids might actually be spawning from. Oh, there's another one just here. Ow. Yeah, I remember the day when dealing with rays were such a difficult thing to do. And they were kind of scary for a while. Anyway, there we go. So, a couple of raids down. Uh, a few settlings and settling cores. Uh, what I might do, though, is I might actually do a run where we're sort of going all the way out here and we might sort of do a run where we go to the the plains perhaps uh, just to make sure that we're covering off uh, as much of the swamp as possible and therefore hopefully coming across uh, as many of these raids as possible as well have some more sausage Yeah, I was thinking, I wonder if raids actually, like, spawn um, near some of the other enemy spawners as well, if that makes sense. I'm not really interested in abominations at all, guys, so I'm just going to leave them.
Uh, actually, one thing that I haven't done is mark off the swamp gate there, because um, we have completely looted that one. I don't think there is any need for us to go back. Oh, here we go. Did we get a chain from that one? There we go. Alright, our portal's just over there. I'm just gonna avoid approaching it because um, I don't want enemies attacking it, obviously. Very good. Um, I think it's daytime already, isn't it? It might be. It's a shame. Alright. Um... I know I've run through this area before, but I'm just sort of wanting to double check whether or not we have missed uh, any sunken crypts, because, again, this is the closest swamp that we have to home. It'd be nice if there were more sunken crypts here that we could mine from. seeing anything. Yeah, let them fight. Okay, well, um, I think from here... Look, we could run back to that portal, but I think it's just as close to run all the way back to the little villa farm that we have. So let's do that. Plus, the planes are generally nicer to look at anyway, you know? Like, I uh, prefer being in the planes than in the swamps. Uh, I think that's the camp that we had trouble with. So, I'm just giving it a very wide berth here. Um, don't want any two-star fullings that come running for us. So in terms of what to do next, uh, I'm thinking, yes, we do want to go to that other swamp that we've found. Uh, and since it's still daytime, maybe 
uh, one thing that we could do is we could uh, recover our longboat. The longboat's been away from the home all this time. I think it's probably about time that we bring it home. Uh, we've already got a portal on that continent anyway, so it won't really be difficult for us to to get back. Um, so yeah, that's uh, I think what we'll do next. Just gonna quickly teleport ourselves from here. Very good. Okay, we should be able to get there pretty quickly. Just gonna store a few bits and pieces before we get going. Uh, and perhaps maybe... Uh, just... Grabbing a few more things to eat might not be a bad idea as well. Too much coal. I guess that's not a bad problem to have. Maybe we don't need to worry too much about the food. I think maybe we've got enough food. Um, Alright. Let's make our way. Yeah, hopefully by the end of this episode, we can then upgrade our shield. That would be nice. Uh, anyway, so we are... Yep, we're here. Let's just get ourselves to the longboat. I don't really know if the longboat survived. Could be in tatters already, and for all we know, we might actually have to reconstruct it. Hopefully we can recover the materials, if that's the case. Okay, it is still in one piece, surprisingly. <laughs> uh. Oh yes, and we've got a little raft here as well. Uh, I, I remember we had to do kind of a recovery operation at one point. Okay, we don't have a, um, a workbench sitting around here, do we? It doesn't look like it. We might have to just quickly gather up some wood. And, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll make a workbench and... We'll try to, um... Recover the materials from the... Uh, the raft. Okay. That should be enough, but I may as well gather from this log as well. 
since it's already a log. Um, Alright, so let's just do that. And quickly break you down. Actually, oh my god. Guys, I have completely forgotten. My bad. But uh, we can't actually break these things down. Um, by, um, by simply, you know, using the hammer. We have to actually destroy these things ourselves. I forget about that. Okay. We'll throw that away. At the very least, I think we should be able to just repair. Um, I can take that again. Okay, so let's bring our trusty longboat home. It's been a while. It's been a while since um, since we've sailed. Uh, actually, this could have been a really good opportunity for us to try the new power because that power would basically allow us to sail with full speed indefinitely. That's the way I envisage the power working. Um, I could be completely wrong. Anyway, let's head that way. Uh, a lot of you guys were giving some tips on how to get serpents as well. Um, sailing at night, basically, and, you know, going out in storms and stuff like that also helps. Um, so one of these days, I think we might do an episode where we're focusing on fishing and serpent hunting. Just to try and get all those ingredients for, obviously, the best foods that we have access to so far. Yeah, so, um, this is probably where we're gonna head to next. Uh, and I might actually pick up the Explorer Portal and actually bring it with me, set it up somewhere, uh, in the, or even maybe near the, um, the swamp. So let's see what we have here. So this is a level 2 shield, uh, which means we're going to need to upgrade it a couple more times before it's maxed. Uh, and then there's the matter of the Silver Sword, which is still level 2, could bring that up to level 3. I think we've got enough silver now to hopefully do that. Okay, our beautiful looking home. If only we had the docks ready, that'd be nice. Anyway. Now, I suppose maybe keeping the... the longboat out here... could be a little bit of a problem with all the necks around. Um, I'm surprised they keep spawning so close by. 
Um, considering we've got, you know, workbenches and stuff like that set up out here. I'll, I'll set up another one. And yeah, I'll just get rid of these two. Where's the other one? Huh, okay. I don't exactly see the other one, but anyway. It's fine. Uh, okay. Food. Uh, do I really want to consume our better foods at the moment? We'll just take a look at the pantry and see if there's anything else that we can eat. Um... Let's eat that. And... I don't really have a good source of stamina. Uh, or an alternative source of stamina, so let's make some onion soups. Okay, that should keep us going for a while, right? So... Throw that in there. Yeah, we've still got decent foods. Let's make some coal with the boar meat. Okay, so, um, I think it's sort of midday. By the time we arrive at the swamp, it may actually become dark. So, uh, why don't we get going? Okay, so... Remove that. And that as well. And yeah, we'll make a move on. Do I want to go through the mountains? Probably not. Because uh, we don't exactly have the best uh, HP and stamina right now. We can work our way across. In fact, might not be a bad idea to set up a, um, a portal up here. I think this might be planes up here as well. Ow. This came out of nowhere. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll set things up uh, a little bit more towards the northeast uh, and then go from there. This, this almost feels like there could be something buried, like, right underneath here, potentially. I don't exactly want to test that theory out without, uh, you know, having a, um, a wishbone with me. Troll right here, finding something. I was gonna say we're gonna leave him alone, but he seems to have discovered us already, so I'll try and run as much as we can.
Perfect, we even have like a little base to use. Kind of precarious in terms of location, but we can work with it. So let's set things up here. We'll do that. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if this is facing the right way. I think it is. Alright, good times, good times. Alright, so now we just need to sort of uh, cover this place up a little bit. Okay, and it's officially night, so let's get a move on. I won't worry about covering things up too much. I do hear a skelly. I don't know where it is exactly. Maybe... I thought I heard like a troll or something. Yeah, if we have trolls and stuff, we're going to have to deal with that. That's okay, I think we can come back. Um, working our way back up to this portal might be a problem. Almost thinking that this little house down here might have been a better option. Uh, yeah, so this is also Plains territory right here, so we've got to be careful. There are uh, tougher enemies, obviously, in the Plains. Anyway... Let's try and find these raids. Uh, and I'm also going to stop periodically to um, to try and mark down any crypts that we find. Hopefully we sort of get lucky finding some crypts. This is like super accessible so I'm just going to see if I can get the guck sack here. Don't really need to fight everything else, I don't think. Why is that? Oh, that is a uh, one of those bigger blob things. I think. Why is it glowing? I guess it glows. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Let's go for it. Okay. I'll leave. 
the abomination. Just really keeping my eyes peeled for some crypts, but I'm not seeing any crypts anywhere. So far, this swamp has been a little bit of a disappointment on that front. I see one just over there. Ooh, I think I may see a crypt over there. Either that, it's maybe a... It could be a guck sack, though. Same colours. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's continue. Yeah, we're almost done here with this, uh, with the swamp. I think it's probably daytime already though, so we might not come across any more wraiths. Uh, we do have four chains from our expedition so far, so that's not too bad. Just keeping an eye out for even more crypts. Which I think there are none. Alright. No joy. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run 
just up here. See if I can get a little bit closer to the meadows. And we should be able to just run on the outskirts. Towards our brand new portal. What I didn't do is mark down where the portal is. Uh, so I better do that actually when we get there. I sort of know where it is, roughly. Alright, so considering we have found a few chains this episode, I think we'll uh, go back and we'll try and upgrade this shield once more. Uh, and then we'll take a look at whether or not we can upgrade the sword another level as well. Yeah, I want us being able to just block uh, the stuff that the foolings are dishing out to us. Here we are, I think. Oh no, actually this is not the not the place. And uh, with the better sword, we should be able to dish out a little bit more damage to the two star pulling as well. So hopefully it'll take less hits to go down. Here we are. Let's just clear the area for a second. And... Uh, I don't know. Should we also just... Block things off for monsters to get in, maybe. Let's head back. Radio. Um. Oh, sorry. My bad, guys. Uh, before we go, I just wanted to mark down where this new portal is. That. Okay, hopefully the portal stays up and isn't destroyed or anything like that. If it does get destroyed, then obviously things are going to be a lot harder for us. Um, anyway, time for upgrades. Yeah, I, uh, I recall that we made the, uh, the grave mistake of accidentally making another shield. Alright, so black metal, quite a lot of that. We do have chains. Um, I'm guessing maybe the next tier will be like eight chains, potentially. But anyway, let's get what we need. So 20 of these and eight black metal bars. Let's do it. Next level. Oh, there is no next level, or uh, I guess maybe our forge is not capable of upgrading it yet to the next level, potentially. 
So, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to wait until we find new materials to make whatever upgrades are necessary. Um, in that case, actually, let's check on the shield. Oh, sorry, not the shield. The, um, the sword. So, 40 silver. That's, that's tough. <laughs> uh... All this wood, I sort of just want to throw that into the uh, the kiln over here if we could, but... Um, maybe I can actually just continue smelting stuff, actually. Uh, might not be a bad idea. Get some more metals. Uh, we'll grab all of that, chuck as much of it in as possible. Um, throw that back out. Yeah, we do have a little bit of extra space here, but let's, uh, let's try and throw more of this silver ore in. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, we are probably waiting on just a tiny little bit more silver before we can actually um, upgrade our sword. Let's just spend this time putting a few things away. Okay, so apparently we don't have any guck sitting around anywhere. Bit of a surprise. Probably don't really need to eat right now, do I? How are we going here? Are these growing okay? Yeah, all right. So it seemed to have resolved the problem. We just need to make sure that we plant things in zigzags there. Uh, we do have a few things not growing here. It's alright. Um, okay. So maybe drop another resin there. And hopefully by now we have our silver. Alright, I think we do. I think we do. Um, ah! I just got rid of all of my wood. Okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, we need... So I know we need 40 silver, so that's gonna be... Oh, actually, we've got a little bit of silver tucked away here already. My bad. Um, Alright, so... Two leather scraps, six iron.
my lord. All right. All right, there we go. Level three silver sword. <laughs> the next level up is gonna be, <coughs> oh God, 60 silver. Ah, goodness me. All right, that's, yeah, that, that that's a lot of silver. Um, well, I think we've done pretty good this episode, actually. Um, I, I am, sort of more keen on trying to get like the black metal shield upgraded even further but uh, it's not really even possible so I think uh, we're gonna have to make do with what we've got guys I mean we'll, we'll see how we go as painful as it may be uh, if we do need to upgrade the silver sword to level four then yeah, there's going to be a lot more work required to source even more silver. I mean, we've got a little bit of silver going at the moment, but definitely not enough. So, uh, yeah. If we can avoid having to go to level 4 for the silver sword, uh, that would be most ideal. But we're going to have to see. Anyway, guys, I'm signing out here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. Aside from that, stay true, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.